How's it going everybody? Welcome to GHMV Reacts. Today we are reacting to another super couple, Sunny and Brenda. I loved these two and I'm so stoked to watch the clips that we're watching today. The first clip is of when Sunny and Brenda meet for the first time. So let's check this out. Oh, the old dogs. I kind of miss this set. Can I, can I, uh, out here? I, I, I've got it. Thank you. Uh, what's going on here? Are you all right? Yeah. Can I take... It's not a great neighbor for you to be walking by yourself. Can I just walk you back to Kelly? No, thank you. Isn't that where you live? I used to. So where are you going? Because you've got a lousy parking spot, okay? Well, I'll be happy to escort you there. It's really nice of you, but I think I'd just rather do it on my own. Do what? Do I? Sense a little hostility here? What is this coming from a friend or a friend? To tell you the truth, my friends don't find you very friendly. <laughs> and you let other people make up your mind for it? That surprises me. Well, I guess it's your day for surprises then, isn't it? So quick to make judgments? You know... All this time, and we haven't been properly introduced. I'm Sonny Cruz. And I'm leaving. <laughs> Look, I... Honestly... I have to go, okay? He's kind of creepy here. Oh, it was nice to meet you. What's your name again? Brenda. Definitely. <laughs> oh man. All right, this next clip is of Sunny and Brenda's first kiss from 1994. Wow, I was four years old. All right, here we go. She was smitten like a kitten. <laughs> Reginald. We get to see Sonny and AJ interact here. Yeah, wow. I'm trusting you. Big mistake. And then he murdered him. Nothing. Never mind. Go, go ahead and go about your business. If you're looking for Brenda, she's busy. Well, who died and left you in charge of her life? <laughs> Brenda's a friend of mine. And if anything, anything at all were to happen to her, I'd be very unhappy. Look, uh, PJ? Whatever. If I were you, I'd spend less time worrying about Brenda's pain and a little more about your own. Are you right? Let me ask you something. Are you, uh, are you threatening me here in my own home? Not even close. First of all, I believe in basic etiquette. Something you seem to have missed with all your fancy private schools. My mother, may she rest in peace, taught me that when somebody comes into your home, it's not polite 
to treat them like garbage. Oh, the shoe fits, Sonny. My mother also <laughs> taught me that should I be invited into somebody else's home, it would be rude for me to stick my hand down their throat and tear their lungs out by the roots. You know, it's just not done in the better circles. I think your mother would. I, no, I don't think my mother, nothing. Mm -hmm. Does your mother approve of your career choice, Sonny? My mother felt that whatever path I chose, I would do it as well as anyone. Well, or you'd hire a couple goons to do it for you, huh? Ah, it's so easy to hear <laughs> in the comfort of your own home to run off at the mouth. I'm gonna tell you a little secret. If you want, we can go elsewhere to prove a point. I plan to. Sonny? Awkward. But not with you. I can't believe you had the nerve to show up here after our last discussion. The fast way to get the ring is to leave with you, baby. Oh, I'll get my cup. Brenda, don't. Mind your own business. Come on, look, this isn't a joke anymore. It, it's gone far enough, okay? Don't flatter yourself. You can't be serious about this guy. Let me know. How many times are you going to take care of his throwaways? Sonny promised me dinner at the best restaurant in town. Not the PC girl. So don't wait up, AJ. Ever. Thank you. You bought my car. No, I, I bought my car. But I'm happy to share. Well, that's very generous of you. Now it's louder. <sighs> You know, I love the smell of new car leather. Just think if we could bottle it, we'd be millionaires. Well, you're not exactly rolling in poverty. That house you're living in. Oh, well, that's somebody else's money. Mm, that's usually the way it starts. Then you got people like us doing somersaults just to get by in life. When a punk like AJ gets it handed to him on a silver platter. It's the luck of the draw, I guess. Well, maybe mine looks changing. Yeah. Well, they say Mercury's in retrograde. Good, I was scared too because of copyright. No, no. <laughs> What's up? A little. Why? I don't know. I'm, I'm with a man I hardly know, and you won't tell me where we're going. You can ask me anything. You know, I'll tell you anything you want to know. Did you ever take care into this place? Naive. Sonny, I... I miss the saxophone days Sorry. on soaps. Man. Brings you back Was to that supposed to answer my question? Look. We can sit here if you insist. All right, Brenda. We can sit here all night and whine about what Karen and Jagger did to us. Or we can put them where they belong, right? Boom! Over there somewhere. Sorry. I didn't mean to say anything hurtful. How would you know? I don't have any feelings, man. I never said that, Sonny. Look, I don't have to say anything you haven't already figured out. I trusted Karen. We had something, I thought. Now we don't. Same old song. Is it really over then? I guess I guess I didn't make myself clear, but right. This Marcel is so Is there something that... No. 
Well, did it make you do anything you don't want to do? Yes, no. I I don't know, Sonny. It's just that... What, what, what? This isn't just a kiss, you know. It's a prelude. Is that so? Yeah, I think I should just go home. Is that what you want to do, really? It is. What about the dinner? No dinner. Besides, this place the best place in town, that's what you called it, right? Oh, uh, I wasn't lying. It's your place, isn't it? It's the best. Oh. Listen, either you start driving or I'll walk. Your wish is my command. <sighs> but what am I going to do with all that clam song? You don't really want me to answer that, do you? The J.C. Penny Wardrobe. Here you are. Home. Safe and sound. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. I guess this is the part we... Get out and go inside. Right. Sonny, I feel a little silly. Why? I feel like I overreacted. I mean, it was just a kiss, right? Just a kiss? It was a prelude, Brenda. You said so yourself. It was more than that, wasn't it? <clears throat> you know what? You just surprised me. That's all. And it's not a bad thing. I mean, look, you're not an ordinary guy, right? So, so why would I expect an ordinary kiss? And, it, you know, it's just, that, it's just that there's so many people saying so many things, and everyone has an opinion about you, and none of it's neutral, you know? And I'm just thinking. I just can't stop thinking, and I'm wondering what's going on with us. What is this? You know, where is this going? And I just feel, and I just feel like I'm rambling on and on right now, so you can just stop me anytime you want. Brenda. Yes. I know people say bad things about me. I don't care what they think. As long as you draw your own conclusions based on what you know, what you see, and how you're treated. That sounds fair. Have I ever treated you badly? Have I disrespected you? Have I embarrassed you in any way? No. You've been a complete gentleman. Mostly, mostly well, you have. I lost my head for a second, but <laughs> I, I am a gentleman. That's how I was taught, and that's how I live my life. I mean, you and me, we're, we're, we're having a good time, right? You know, I am. You know, we, we, we play our little games, we tease each other, but we flirt, but there's no new dance. But after a while, there's going to come a point where things get kind of real. That's my cue to get nervous. I mean, not at, not at, not at this moment, but there is going to come a point where we're going to have to stop wondering about the rules of the game and decide whether we want to get real. I don't know. But what I do know is who's ever with me is with me because that's exactly where they want to be every step of the way. Like like tonight. You want me to take you home, right? Yeah, and you did. Always. No matter what happens between us. It's your choice, your decision. Yeah, but don't you think that kind of takes the romance out of things? Absolutely not. Unless you don't want to be treated like a lady. Of course I do. Then let me walk through the door. Just 
forget about tonight? Kind of start all over from the beginning? We'll take a rain check on dinner. I'll put the clam sauce in the freezer. Yeah? Mm. I'll look forward to it. Mm. I guess I better go inside now. Dimple smile. Maybe we shouldn't forget everything that happened tonight. This next one, or this last one, is the aftermath of a crazy scene where Sonny and Brenda were running for their lives in Puerto Rico. And I watched that before on like an action-packed GHMV Reacts. Um, so this is the fallout, and it's probably the most romantic scene ever for these two. Also one of the most romantic scenes on General Hospital. But let's watch together. I mean, not so romantic in this moment here. <laughs> oh, poor Brenda. says that this was um, inspired by From Here to Eternity. Sonny and Brenda's theme song as well. And Miss Couples had like instrumental theme songs. They made this look so romantic too. This must have been so cold though. <laughs> like, I know it's Puerto Rico, but the water had to have been cold at this point, this time of night. To tell me what happened. You have to tell me who those people are. Lily's father's men. Are Lily and Miguel in trouble? We're on trouble, babe. Whoa. Frank's dead, okay? Frank Smith. How? Luke shot him. Luke shot him? Come here, come here. I know, baby. I know. I know. Okay, he, he came back. He came back to San Juan this morning to tell me there was there was a meeting between Rivera, his man Perez, and Frank. Some kind of negotiation. Okay. Now, with Frank gone, there was a vacuum of power, which put us in a dangerous position because we were under Frank's protection. I'm sorry, but I and I 
I tried to step in. Is this what they pulled me into? Yes. What the hell were you doing there, Brenda? I was following you. I just wanted to know where you were going and you wouldn't tell me. I'm sorry. We can't be helped anyway, sweetheart. I'm curious, are you guys Team Sunny and Brenda or Team Sunny and Carly? They'll be fine. I mean, till after the, you know, the concert, you know. Let me know. They were in the rehearsal hall this afternoon. Lois said she'd keep them there till, till show time. There's, there's security, cops, people, potential witnesses. Everything's fine. Don't you think we should go back and warn them? I have actually watched the storyline before. It's so good, you guys, if you can find it. But. One of the best GH location shoots ever, hands down. I need you right now. They had Ricky Martin in there too, as Miguel, at a Ricky Martin concert. So pretty. So romantic. All right, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked this video, give it a big old thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to. Next week, we are checking out Robert and Holly, I think. Yes, Robert and Holly. So yeah, stay tuned for that. And I will catch you guys next time. Peace out.